Welcome back. We are live in very windy right now, Golden, Colorado, to talk about the power of water. Now, the Upper Arkansas Water Conservancy District is trying to manage this precious, precious resource of ours. Now, Buena Vista in the Upper Arkansas Basin is considered one of the driest spots in Colorado, just 12 inches of annual precipitation. Yet, Terry Skanga, general manager of the Water District, says his 3,000 square mile area is run very efficient, efficiently, so there's never a scarcity of water. So, for example, if you built a home and you had um, an, what we call a non-exempt uh, well that you wanted to put in because you, know, you didn't have a priority or an exemption under the law, then you would have to augment. So you can come into our office, you can purchase at a nominal price, uh, a reasonable price, about 4,000 bucks, uh, for your home, for do, for uses within the home and for outside some outside irrigation. And then we manage that. We account for all of your depletions. We make the releases to the river yep. and so forth. So you end up with water that you can use. Now, priority water rights holders in the Upper Arkansas River District are agriculture producers, and there are a few cities as well. And Skanga says that water in Colorado is not over-appropriated, but he also says the lower basin states, Arizona, California, have to do a better job about not exceeding their annual allotment. So at some point, the Bureau of Reclamation has to put their foot down and say, you're only going to get so much. All right, Colorado Big Thompson water rights, also known as CBT water rights, are worth tens of thousands of dollars per acre foot. Now, an acre foot is the amount of water that it would take to cover an acre of land in one foot of water. So about the size of football fields, we're talking roughly 326,000 gallons. All right, so by some estimates, the value of just a single acre foot of CBT water rights, about $73,000, it's a lot of money. These water rights are owned by farmers and ranchers, municipalities and investors as well. In fact, there's been a recent phenomenon in the water markets uh, that uh, hedge funds or capital investments firms are purchasing CBT water rights. And some say this is only going to drive up the price further. Others just say this is just another investment. What I also like to point out is Bill Gates has bought up quite a bit of agricultural land. And if you read what he's saying, that's going to stay in agricultural production because he feels it's a good investment. So it's entirely possible these firms just see this as a, you know, ag production is a good investment. It's an opportunity and it's a hedge against, you know, downturns in the economy. And Tracy also says that water laws, if you're worried, they protect Colorado water from being diverted to other places. However, water can be transferred from agriculture use to municipalities to support well, the urban growth that we have seen here. All right, that's going to do it for the first part of this evening's The Power of Water special coverage. Much, much more to come at 6 o'clock. In fact, I'm going to be joined by Denver 7's Russell Haythorn, and we're going to take a very close look at all of our previous reporting on water issues in Colorado. We're also going to hear from a climatologist about the biggest problem with the West water crisis, which, as you know, affects each and every one of us.